Hey, welcome back. Uh, we have played around with the laser a little bit, doing a lot of different things. We did power scale on some little canvas and different colors. Now we're ready to do an actual picture. Uh, this has two coats of white and a coat of black on it. Uh, we'll take you through the software that we used and then we'll get it burned. All right, here we are in image-r, imager.com. Uh, this is what we're going to use to uh, process the picture before uh, we put it on the light burn. Uh, we'll import our picture that we want, crop it. It automatically makes it black and white. All right, once you get your picture cropped down to the size you want, um, coming in here to the resize, changing it to inches, and the canvas we have is a nine by 12. So I'm going to adjust the picture there. And then DPI, this is where you really need to play around. Um, it's uh, dots per inch. And play around with that um, from what I've read, 300, 350, somewhere in there, 318 is popular. All right, so when we go into select material, this is where the way that it kicks out the picture is very important. So we've got a dioid laser, um, so you grab that one, and then uh, the Norton method uh, just inverts the picture the way you need it. So it does all the behind the scenes processing for you. So we're gonna grab Norton black tile because our canvas is painted black on top. That way it inverts the picture and will burn away the black yes. to get there. Then we just export it and import it into Lightburn. So that's why it actually shows what should be black is white and what is white should be black. Because the black part is what's going to burn and it'll burn away the black paint. So because we imported it from the other processing, we're actually going to set it to pass through here. That way it just keeps all the original settings from the other site. Uh, then just set your speed and power. All those canvas tests we did a while ago, uh, we took 30% is what did the best as far as burning away that first layer of black. And then 3000 uh, millimeters a minute was the best setting that we had as well. So that's what we're going to run with. Uh, this is just looking at the previews. I was playing around with it. Um, it just shows you where it's going to burn. So it doesn't really do you the best right there. But it does tell you the time. And that time <laughs> is accurate. It's over five hours.
All right, now we're gonna take our damp microfiber cloth and just clean off the little bit of ash that is left on there. All right, here's the finished product. Uh, <laughs> love the way it turned out. Uh, might tweak settings a little bit when we go from the next one. Um, super surprised how much detail you see in the coat. Um, it's hard to tell on camera, but it looks awesome in person. Um, almost better than the real thing. Mm. Oh. It just crawled away. Hey, come back here for just a second. All right, <laughs> love it. Gonna frame it so we can hang it up. Uh, like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Thanks guys.